What's up, Irish Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNLive.com, the home of the Ursuline Irish. Week 9 here at the Golden Dawn. The Irish will play Youngstown East Friday night at Stambaugh Stadium. Anthony Romo and myself will have the call. Player profile Week 9. Cannot thank Johnny Naples and his staff enough for all they do. Anthony, player profile Week 9, talented junior Tyreek Donlow. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, here. let's talk Tyreek Donlow. I, I see a, a beautiful little girl over there in Lucia. Um, the family, uh, how special is this for you to be a part of? Uh, it's very special. And I feel like that's very important to be a part of a very good supportive family. Absolutely. Shout out to them for all they do, obviously, at Urson High School. And for you, uh, two of the best people that I know right there as mom and dad, they do a great job. Do you, obviously, Coach Kelly's on the field. Do you know where Liz is at on game night? Oh, yeah. She's with the cheerleaders. She's with the cheerleaders, so she's right down there with you. Anthony, we talk all the time how special that is when families can do things and be a part of Ursuline football. Yeah, of course. Family's huge. It's like a big family here at Ursuline, um, which I've really come to learn throughout this year. Um, to have a supportive system like that, like how cool is that for you because you're – family is so much a part of the game like you are they they feel everything on friday night just like you do yeah uh i feel like it's like a momentum type of thing like if they got good energy and i have good energy then it's just gonna come together it's gonna and work it's gonna skyrocket tyreek donlow i thought you had a great game friday night i, I love when i see you standing up at end and we can get Anthony, people in long distance situations, and we can kind of peel that pass rush. Yeah, you ran the football very well. Offense or defense? Which one do you like better? Uh, I like defense. I love hitting people. Absolutely, right, and nice. and he um, gets the quarterback very well. We talked with with Christian. We talked with his dad. We talked with Coach Reardon. I think this defense gets better every week. Oh yeah, of uh, course. Talk to us about that a little bit. The schedule we play sometimes, Anthony. I doesn't show how good of a defense Junkstown Urson is with the people we play that are skilled and talented and can do things too. So you play a great schedule and your defense gets better every week. But I still don't think we've seen this best defense yet. Yeah, we definitely haven't. Uh, last week I feel like it was like a little a jump start. Right. For what, what, what was the – I, I want to – you're a talented young man that knows the game very well. This is what I saw. I saw the defense that run fits were excellent. Yeah. Guys were where they were supposed to be. You're one of those guys that they lean on to make tackles for losses. You did that. The linebacking play, they're young. You're, you, there's still a lot of Anthony, a lot of young underclassmen yeah. that play for us. And that's exciting, isn't it? Yeah, of course. And, like, watching them go from, like, real young. Sure. And then they go up that year, and they're, like, a totally different person when they come back. Absolutely. Just best feeling ever. Tyreek Donlow, uh, junior player profile. Talk about that. When you were a freshman – playing and you played varsity yeah and now you're a junior what's the difference be of Tyreek Donlow as a freshman and now as a junior uh I feel like now I'm like way I got more wisdom now like I know what I'm doing and I know like what I have to do because when I was a freshman I didn't really know what I, had to do. I just, just went, went out there play, right yeah. and playing a lot of bigger people bigger stronger as a freshman Anthony I, I think Anthony, to me, that's one of the most impressive things. When you look at this senior class and junior class, they've all played varsity football at a young age and are starting to reap rewards of knowing what Urson expects, playing good competition, and competing against the best every week. And, of course, not only builds tradition for the program going on because guys are going to continue. When we see some young guys out on the field now, I think of John Frangos on the defensive yeah. side playing linebacker, um, Lorenzo Rohrbaugh, a lot of young guys on that defensive side. Um I'll, and I want to say this. We talked about your growth from, from freshman to junior year. You played a big role on that team last year that made it to the state championship game. Um, what did you learn the most um, from that game, from that state championship game? What taught you the most from that game heading into this season? Keep your foot on the gas pedal because it flipped the switch just I, like that. You know what? I love that he says that, and, and I think people don't understand that I think flip the switch is probably a good answer, but also most people never play in a state championship. No. You have oh, an opportunity yeah, yeah, to play yeah. in two or three. Did we want to win? Absolutely. But that football team, 
was kind of like who we play all the time. Didn't do anything flashy, didn't do anything, but just was able to do what they do best and run the football. And we couldn't catch a break to get off the field. Yeah, they took pride in the little things. I think you guys have learned from that. Oh, yeah, for and, sure. And, and there were a lot of great seniors on that group that you guys were tight with, but I say it all the time. Sometimes you have to lose to win. win. Mm-hmm. Um, I see that a lot with this group. As a junior, who were some of the guys you looked up to that were helpful as a sophomore last year that that you kind of knew they had your back as that senior? Uh, definitely uh, D-Mac. Yeah. D-Mac, Brady, Dean, and Ja'Kyla. Yeah. Those guys. Those guys – and everybody we talk to uh, talks about those guys. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're not on a team this year, but there's a lot of guys on this team that want to win a state championship because of what they learned from those guys. Is that fair to say? Yeah, uh, they didn't They didn't really talk much, but they really led by example. All right, so out of this senior group, who's some of those guys that you rely on? Uh, I rely on Isaac Lucas, Mike Branch, Casey Cohen, and Brian. Those big hogs. The big guys up yeah. front. See, we talk about the big hogs all the time. They don't get a whole lot of love except for YSN profiles. They don't get to t- – well, Branch, I shouldn't say that. I think he's got, what, two touchdowns? Yeah, he does. Okay, <laughs> so we got to give him the ball again in one of these situations. How tight is your junior class? It seems pretty tight. Yeah, it's uh, – we're, like, very tight. You know, A lot uh, of talented juniors oh, playing yeah. football, too. Yeah. So a lot of people – think that Urson football is going to take a step down yeah not so fast yeah. this is a talented is group anthony that that we think is going to do it for years our sophomore class is like they're like that too okay they're just waiting for their chance how, how hard is that for some of those guys when you look at you just said it some of those sophomores probably play at a lot of schools but are learning on the practice field against the quality people every day yeah that's what makes Ursuline be able to play who we play yeah, I feel like um for them, it's more like they're getting better every day because they're behind somebody and they're trying to take their spot. I love it. And then looking forward to this week against East, um, it's always cool when you play one of the city city teams, two teams in the same city in Youngstown. I'm sure um, you know some of the guys on yeah, the other team. A lot um, of them. How much more fun does that make the game when you know some of the guys on the other side? It makes it better and it makes it way more fun because you know that like them are the guys you grew up with. The uh-huh. guys you spend most of your time with. And when you beat them, it makes you feel even more Of better. course. Absolutely. Of course. That's what we plan to do. Well, we're Friday. going to beat them. There's no doubt we'll have it for you Friday night, 7 o'clock. YSNlive.com. Anthony Roma and myself will be on the call. I love when I see you stand up and get a pass rush. Um, and I love when you run the football. You had some great runs last week. How important is it for you to lead this defense? Because they look for you to make big plays. Uh, I feel like, like if I'm not as like explosive or like really on my game, then it like throws off our momentum. But our you energy. get a lot of Anthony. He gets a lot of double team blocks. He gets yeah. a lot of chips. He gets a lot of bumps. I think that makes you better, though. Yeah, college football is that something Tyreek Dunlow wants to do? Of course. Currently has an offer, correct? Yeah, from Toledo. From Toledo. It's a great school. I think there's going to be many more. Tyreek Dunlow will have many more offers, Anthony, that we will talk about. I think we're ready for some rapid fire with him. I think he's going to have some good answers. I'm a little baffled by Christian. And who did he say? Teddy Pendergrass? Yeah. (laughs) Teddy Pendergrass for his music. So I'm going to ask you that one. What do you listen to to get you ready to play on game night? Uh, Definitely Finito by Chief Keith. Okay. Anthony, I'm going to go to you. You're my music guy. That's good. Yes. Okay. Chief Keef is great. All right. Chief Keef has a lot of good songs. I have one more, and then I'll let it go to Anthony. Role models, we talk about them all the time when you're having a bad day. Who's Tyreek Donlow's role model to go to? Uh, definitely my mom. I'm a mama's boy. Absolutely. Mama's boys are good boys, no doubt. So shout out to your mom for sure for all she does. I'm 55 and still mama's boy, so remain <laughs> that way for the rest of your life. Anthony, I'll go to you. So growing up. Around the Valley, there's been so many good athletes who have went to the next level throughout the years. Growing up, who was your favorite athlete around the Valley to watch? Uh, I would have to say it was probably uh, Limboden. Okay, I that's that's a popular Limboden. answer. Limboden was pretty a good. A lot of us like watching yeah, he, him play. he was able to run around. He did it against Urson a few times. That's a great answer. Yeah. Favorite Ursuline class and a shout-out and a thank you to a teacher you want to say thanks to? Uh, favorite Ursuline class? Does it have to be, like, old or new? It can be whatever you like. 
Uh, it'll probably be uh, Kelly's favorite. I mean, Kelly's um draft class. I love their one. And uh, shout out to teacher uh, Ms. Lacko and Ms. Pasquale. Ms. Lacko and Ms. Pasquale, favorite teachers. So shout out to both of you. How important is education? Obviously, you're getting recruited. You get an offer. You're doing all the right things. Urson High School's education is phenomenal. It takes a lot of time, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But I feel like um, education is mo the most important thing because no if question. you can't learn anything, then how do you expect to go on for the next level? Well, you of keep course. doing what you're doing, and you're going to go on to the next level. Anthony, I'll go to you. Up to this, what's been your favorite football memory? Favorite football memory? Uh, probably – the whole Glenville game. That's probably my favorite football That was memory. a pretty fun game. Yeah. It was very electric. I go back and think of that game. That was a crazy, like, so many different momentum and mood swings. Yeah. And that, that's a great answer. And look on, at that Glenville team now. How many guys do they have? Yeah, they're playing. They're crazy, bro. Yeah, that's That yeah. was a really good football game. All right. Student body at Ursuline is phenomenal. Ursuline support during football games. You're that guy that brings some electricity. Do you hear them on game night? All the time. All the time. You don't block that out at all. You want to hear that. Does yeah. that get you amped up when you hear them and it's third and 12 and they know Tyreek Donlow can make the big play to get us off the field? Does that energize you even more? Yes, of course. It makes me go even faster. I got to ask you, how fun was playing in games against Farrell, Fitch, and Cheney? And I'm not – and St. V's, not trying to exclude anybody else we play. But those atmospheres and electricity. Yeah, there was talk a, about that, especially Cheney to play at Rand Stadium. That had to be special. It was packed all the games. So like the momentum there, it's the momentum. Like if we did something good, our guys would get up. But then like if we played away and they did something good, the You're momentum them. a yeah. shift. Like so I mean I love those answers. And, well, we're going to keep momentum going here for hopefully another seven weeks for sure. Oh, That's yeah. That's the goal. Um, so I'll ask you now, do you have a favorite pro team? Pro team? Uh, pro team. NFL team. Oh, pro team. Uh, I like the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, boy, they're okay. pretty good right now. Yeah. yeah. You probably watch some of those guys get after the quarterback. Micah Parsons is pretty good. He is. He's <laughs> wow. He's that might be the best defense in the NFL right now He's, when yeah. you see humming. what they've done. How about college football? Is their favorite team? Oh, Ohio State. Ohio State. They're pretty good, too. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. I mean, I can see Tyreek Donlow wearing a Buckeye jersey. I'm gonna say it, R yeah. <laughs> Romo. I'm gonna say it. I could see him joining. That one. Uh, There's been a lot of. Does good that defensive go through your mind? There. I guess when you're talented like you are, do you picture yourself playing at some of those places all the time? Uh, I've been wanting to go to Ohio State since I was five. All right. Well, let's keep that going. Keep doing what you do on a football field, and my man, I think that's a great possibility. Anthony, I'll throw this one to you. Okay. Um. Your pregame routine, does it stay consistent or do there things that you do different every time? Uh I'll say I stretch the same every time, but other than that, I don't I do like everything different. Are you superstitious guys or anything? I'm not. I was no. like last year. But then like Okay, so what you went from sophomore to junior year, so those superstitions yeah, are gone. Like, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. It's growing up. I like it. Senior or junior year, I'm sorry, you have two more years left. Um, but for these seniors, this is it week nine, week 10, then the playoffs, and hopefully that state championship run. How do you want as a junior this football season in? Uh, I want a state championship, especially for those senior guys, like senior class. I like I, them are my brothers, like I really love them, and I don't want them to like know that their last football game was like we came up short and we didn't win. So and again, Anthony, I think that's we, we talk all the time about teams that believe that, teams that say that, and teams that we think can do that. Anthony and myself think this team is talented enough to continue on doing what you're doing. Tyreek Donlow, player profile, Urson High School. We'll have the game for you Friday night against Youngstown East. Wish you nothing but the best. Thanks for coming on. And Anthony, I'll see you Friday night. All right. Thank you. All righty.